Hi, I'm Clutz. And I'm Hannah, and this is Ruth Part 1. So today we are studying the first chapter of Ruth, verses 1 through 5. But before we dig into the book of Ruth, there are some facts that you need to know about the background of the story. Judges are like rulers or governors. Bethlehem Judah is a city in the country of Israel, and last of all, Moab is a non-Israeli country. Now, Ruth chapter 1 Verses 1 through 2 says, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi, and the name of his two sons Malon and Chilion, Ephrathites of Bethlehem Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. So, Elimelech, Naomi, Malon, and Chilion were an Israeli family who lived in Israel. Specifically though, they lived in a place called Bethlehem, Judah. They were Ephrathites, which means they were part of the tribe of Ephraim, which was a part of Israel. All of a sudden though, a famine comes. So then they decide to move to Moab. When they get to Moab, something unexpected happens. Ruth chapter 1 verses 3 to 5 say And Elimelech Naomi's husband died and she was left and her two sons and they took them wives of the woman of Moab and the name of one was Orpah and the name of the other Ruth and they dwelled there about ten years and Malon and Chilion died also both of them and the woman was left of her two sons and her husband So, Naomi moves with her family to Moab, and then her husband dies, Elimelech. So, she's a widow now. And then, afterwards, her two sons, Malon and Chilion, get married to Moabite girls. And you'd think that is happy, but then Malon and Chilion both die. And that leaves Naomi with no husband, no sons, and two daughters-in-law who are both widows as well. So they probably feel all alone because people who they loved were gone. You might have felt all alone before, maybe if someone you loved was gone, a family member or a friend. But there's a verse in the Bible that tells us that even though we go through trials, there's still a reason to be joyful. John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in you may, you may have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So, we don't have to be sad, and we don't have to be afraid, because Jesus has overcome the world. We'll see you next time.